I'm Michael Bain, and welcome to Triggered, coming to you this week, as always, from the secret hidden bunker in the Rocky Mountains in Dragon House Studios. And I have a beautiful, beautiful gun to show you today. This is from our sponsor, SDS Imports, and Tesis, made in Turkey. It is a 1911, 5-inch 1911 in 10 millimeter. Now, you've seen my personal 10 millimeter gun that, that I got from Tesis, but this is something really special. This is a gun that we decided to give away at the SHOT Show. Now, as yet, we don't have any details on how you enter, how it's all going to work, but we wanted to get a jump on building the gun because SHOT Show always comes up so much quicker than we think it is. So this is the gun that's going to be given away at the SHOT Show, and it is a full-blown custom, as we might say, from Cylinder and Slide Shop in Fremont, Nebraska. Now, if you should decide to build your own custom gun, you're going to get a sheet of paper like this. These are all the different modifications that's been made to this gun. And obviously, you can see it's substantial. You can also see at the very bottom of the page, there's a number that says $2,241 and change. That's not counting the gun, the mounts, the parts, the sights. But a part of what you're going to get in this custom gun, which, by the way, has a trigger to die for. Everything is fitted. It's custom carry bevel. It is pretty much everything you can do to build a high-end 1911. But I wanted to build a hunting gun. I wanted to give away a gun that was not just beautiful, was not a gun that you just wanted to say, well, <laughs> I'm going to display that in my home but I wanted a gun that would be useful to you in the field. So we went to Holosun, and this is a Holosun 503, I think, CU Green. So the, kind of the top of their 503 line, and it gives you your choice of a dot or a circle and a dot, which makes, to me, a great hunting reticle. Next step, I wanted to mount this sight on this gun, and I wanted to mount it on the frame of the gun. Why would we do that? Well. With the sight on the slide, when the side reciprocates, you're going to lose that sight for just a moment. If you're hunting, you don't ever want to lose sight of the animal, so the smarter move is to mount the sight on the frame of the gun. And that's what Sean McSheedy at Cylinder and Slide has done. This mount itself is from uh, Double Alpha and of uh, Double Alpha Academy, and it's designed for a race gun, a USPSA race gun. But Sean made modifications in it to fit it to a single stack, and it worked out absolutely perfect. He's also got this slide racker back here, which, trust me, you're going to come to appreciate because 10 millimeters have heavy, heavy slides on them. Uh, you can see 25 line per inch checkering, front strap, main strapped housing underneath the trigger guard, a custom trigger, a pound and a half maybe, Perfect trigger pull. The trigger pull that you always go like, wow, glass rod. The other thing that Sh uh, Sean specializes in, other two things, is the grips are from Sean's own side company, Sean's Ugly Grips. Well, Sean's ugly, but the grips are really nice. You notice the way this checkering is done on the grips, on this curved line? That is really, really hard. To do that kind of checkering is the work of a master. The other thing is, I, I told Sean I, I wanted a Cerakote on it, but I wanted, I mean, typically Sean does a lot of my Cerakoting and it looks really trashy like a four-year-old child did it. But I said, Sean, do something cool but subtle. There are three Cerakote colors on this, two blackish, one gray, to create a very muted digital camouflage pattern on this gun. It is a one-of-a-kind. When we give it away, by the way, we'll give it you with three magazines, of course, because that should keep you busy. We'll give you a big old stack of double tap hunting ammunition, like this 200 grain controlled expansion hunting ammunition. Great stuff. We'll throw in some arms core, 180 grain jacketed hollow point so you have something to practice with. You're going to end up with a package that probably floats around four or $5,000, an heirloom gun. And we're going to give you a video. And that video is we're going to take the gun and go out and hunt with it <laughs> and then show you the video of how well it works. In any case, this is a TESIS D10 
10 millimeter, 1911, five inch barrel, 100% custom from Cylinder and Slide Shop, Holosun Optics, special double alpha academy mount. You want this and we'll tell you how to get it. Welcome back to Triggered, and by the way, when we make the decisions of how we're going to be giving that incredible TSIS 10 millimeter away, you'll find all the details on michaelbain.tv, so keep checking there. I've got another great gun to show you, something I've been talking about for a few weeks, but it really, really is cool. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, especially on the podcast, my good friend uh, Tim Ubel at TACCOM 3G, which is a major accessories maker for... Uh, 22 competitors for shotgun competitors for three gun competitors and he called me up to say hey Rock Island's a sponsor of yours right I said yeah and he goes so have you handled the TM22 they're 22 semi-auto I said handled it in the Philippines but I don't have one personally and he goes well I do and he goes it rocks it absolutely rocks and I said I'm just guessing here but I'll bet your gun isn't stock and he goes, no, it's not stock at all, and I'll send it to you so you can see how cool it is. This is a TACCOM 3G modified TM22. It is designed to race. It is a race gun for steel challenge rimfire rifle or for rimfire challenge, the two-gun sport that I was one of the creators. So what did Tim do? He said, well, this was a six-and-a-half-pound gun. He thought it doesn't need to be a six-and-a-half-pound gun. So Tim manufactures these essentially like tubes on the back, tube stocks. You can see I have one on my own race gun. This is my own race Ruger 22, uh, 1022. It sits in a TACCOM plastic chassis. These are carbon fiber, the forend and the tube. They don't weigh anything at all. So Tim fitted them to the Rock Island Armory TM22. Uh, Tim also fitted a really rocking, cool bolt racking device because, as Tim said, it's important to look cool, not just be cool. He said, I did a little work on the trigger. I think you'll find it okay. I found it okay to the tune of about one and three quarters to two pounds. The gun comes with this straight, flat trigger. That makes it even better because once the trigger work is done on it, it is very, very slick. Uh, has a rail mounted on the top. You'll mount the sight to there. Uh, Tim and I were talking about what we could do, maybe removing the rail and fitting some sort of custom mount like this guy with a Holosun 510, um, which is a really good setup for competition. But this is a work in process. And Tim builds cool guns. Rock Island Armory builds cool guns. Now, you'll be able to see this gun, and you'll also be able to see my own TM22 that we're going to build out as a race gun at the SHOT Show. Once again, at the Arms Corps booth, Arms Corps Rock Island booth at SHOT Show. I'll be there with it. Uh, we'll post all that information on michaelbain.tv. Uh, Tim from TACCOM will be there. Hopefully we'll drag Luis over from Holosun. So if you have any questions about 22 racing with a TM22 from Rock Island, we can answer those questions there. I know Tim's going to be focusing on some barrel issues, maybe a lighter barrel, uh, maybe threaded for some kind of comp. Why do you put a comp on a 22 rifle? It doesn't recoil at all. When you race, there's a timer, and the timer sometimes doesn't pick up a very quiet sound. So you want a compensator like the one on my gun, which is guaranteed to make a lot of racket. So, cool thing though, was six and a half pounds, how much does it weigh now? 3.96 pounds. It is featherweight, which makes it fast, fast, fast. So hang on, we'll be back with a little bit on your personal defense when Triggered returns. This week's Triggered is brought to you by 
Arms Court, Rock Island Armory. What's your passion? Taurus, USA. Always ready, always bring it. Stoger, everyday tough. SDS Imports and the Tesis PX9. Tesis means quality. Hunters HD Gold. They change so you don't have to. Welcome back to our Your Best Defense segment. First, I want to tell you, last night at the Secret Hidden Bunker, we had a very special dinner party. And that was for Dave Spaulding of Handgun Combatives and his assistant instructor, Bucky Buchanan, who are teaching here in the Colorado area. Last night was essentially Dave's retirement party. The class he's teaching in Colorado was the last class he and Bucky are going to teach because he's been teaching for a lot of years and he's tired. The reason I bring this up is Dave is one of the finest instructors in the world and has been for the last 20 years. One of the reasons Dave is one of the best instructors in the world, not just that he's my friend, but the techniques that Dave Spaulding has taught and that you've seen in his handgun, handgun combatives books, the things that he teaches are things that he has developed he has learned himself. He came out of college with a, a degree in uh, however athletes put stuff together. I forget what it's called. But he applied those skills, skills that are normally applied to other sports. He applied them to shooting. And he was not afraid to ask questions. Why are we doing things this way when if you think about how the human body works, we should be doing it that way. And I want to say that we need more of that in the training community we have right now. We have far too many in the tra training community right now who have learned a lot of what they learned off YouTube, not dissing YouTube, I'm on there, but develop techniques, techniques that you develop because you're able to add something to the canon, if that makes sense. Add something to the teaching of defensive pistol, of combative pistol. is more than just learning from other people and then refining what they learned. So I just wanted to say to Dave, I cooked him dinner, I made him margaritas, him and Bucky. They had a really good time and I want to say to Dave, thank you not just for your friendship for 20 years, and Dave Spaulding is one of my best friends, but for your contribution to this field that we work in, for your contribution in making you guys out there safer. So Dave Spaulding, have a good retirement. I'm Michael Bain. This is Trigger. Everything we've talked about here, you can find links on michaelbain.tv. You can also see the video on YouTube. You can see it on Rumble. And hey, we will see you right back here next week.